Good morning, guys. I thought I would start this vlog with a little bit of chaos. <laughs> In case you guys are wondering what it's like to be an influencer where you unbox things and you think, wow, everything is so neat and looks really great. This is the aftermath. And as you saw from that opening sequence, it's a huge mess. And I have to clean all of this up and get my day going. I actually filmed myself unboxing my new bio glitters that I got from Fizz Fairy. I'm so stoked about how these products came out and I'm already trying to plan um, content that I'm gonna make with all of that stuff and these amazing fragrance oils that I got from them. I'm just overwhelmed with how grateful I am about everything. And I'm also kind of on a high because I realized that we hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday on my main channel. It's mind blowing, mind blowing. And some of our really sweet friends took the time to send us some balloons. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. Our friends Sola and Paul, who we met at an event three years ago when he first started doing events, have become our dear, dear friends and they have celebrated every milestone of this, of my Jericho Zimmerman channel with us and they have sent me balloons for my 10K, I think. It was 10,000 and now they've sent balloons for 50,000 and I am so grateful to them and to you guys for everyone who wants to see Kale and I succeed and you guys are just absolutely amazing. I have noticed though that um, my hater has found me on this vlog channel so thank you for diligently giving me that one thumbs down. You are dedicated but also thank you for the engagement. I highly appreciate that. I can't believe this is life right now. What I plan to do today is take a picture with this because I need to celebrate this on my Instagram and I need to just thank everybody who helped me get to this point. And then Kale and I are gonna relax a little bit, I think, today. Kale and I are going to take Gibson out for a hike somewhere, I think. Dempsey hates hikes. She's not very good at walking, so we're not gonna take her, but I think that's what we're gonna be doing today. Just have a nice, easy going vlog. I didn't vlog yesterday because we were both so busy with the event and also with the fact that we were celebrating Thanksgiving with our friends. So there was a lot of a lot of that and just sometimes things have to give and the vlog took a hit. I'm sorry about that. I did not fulfill my goal of vlogging every single day in October, sadly, but <laughs> Let's clean up this mess and get the day going. Are you gonna help me clean up or are you just gonna play in the mess? Okay, you're gonna you're just gonna play. Got it. Thanks, Jigs. So we have some sun finally. Yeah, it's sunny out. Of yeah. course, the, the days that we're done bending. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this morning I went outside and uh, because we're leaving in a couple days, I figured I'd get some yard work done. Um, yeah, I saw you. Yeah, there. there's not enough uh, leaves falling from the trees, but I was uh, trimming some branches and like trimming some grass out in front of the yard. We were maybe thinking about taking the boat out, but I think it's a little bit too windy for that. So we should go for a bike ride or we should take Gibson for a little walk slash hike. Take him for a hike. Yeah. I just took him for a pretty long walk around uh, Little Lake Park, but yeah, he's I really think he's so got heavily. some more energy. So we bought this crop share from one of the farmers in our farmer's market, and I want to show you what we got in it. We have here some green onions, which look really good. We have rosemary, radishes, some beets. Is this a beet? That looks like a huge beet. Like That's the biggest beet I've ever seen. Some Swiss chard. Look how gorgeous that looks. Wow. So this one, like Swiss chard, it comes early in the spring and then it must have another round late in fall, huh? Yeah, so anything that produces well in the spring will also produce well in the fall because they like the cooler temps. Yeah, yeah. And then we have some carrots. <laughs> and we have, this is the most interesting thing that we got in our crop share. Oh wait, no, actually, what is this? What are these? 
We're not sure what these are. Jerusalem artichoke? See, that's what I thought. You think these are Jerusalem artichokes, but then so are these. I, oh. know, I know these are Jerusalem artichokes for sure, but I'm not sure what these guys are. We might have to ask. In text, John. John, who is the farmer of this crop share. And then. Oh! We, what? I, that. I didn't see that in there. <laughs> and then we also got this oh. interesting root. Do you know what this is, Kale? Me and the neighbors were trying to figure it out. Because they also buy the crop share and they have no idea what this is, so. Maybe, I don't know. maybe you guys can help us out. It's not dill. And it's not a niece. Oh, sorry. We need uh, we need to get we need to go to school on our fall root vegetables here. And the last thing he gave us. That's the yeah. A pumpkin. What are we gonna do with this? Put it out front. We like yeah. we have our Halloween decos out, but we don't have a pumpkin out there. We're gonna put this out front. But yeah, this is the last crop share of the year, and I would highly recommend it if you guys are thinking about trying veggies, and you have a local farmer that does something like this. Support your local farmers and invest in a crop share. It was so much fun. Let's do it again next year. Yeah, let's do it again. So we are on our way now to Awenda Park, which is, is it a provincial or a national park? It is a provincial park. It's a provincial park that's about 15 minutes drive out of, out of Midland. Yep, 10, and 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, so we're taking Gibson for a hike there. Um, he hasn't been on a hike yet, so we're excited about that. And it's a beautiful park, so we're excited to show it to you guys. And this is the park that has um, Kettle Lake, which is a really great lake for bass fishing, but don't ask Kale about that, because he would disagree with you. <laughs> I don't know if we mentioned it on here, but Kettle Lake is full of bass fish, and mostly everyone that we know who has fish there has caught bass, but Kale has not. I'm still over. Yeah. <laughs> this new roundabout is open. Yeah, this is brand new for our town, and it looks like they're finishing it up and it's almost done, or done since we're using it now. So here we go in the roundabout. <laughs> Double lane roundabout. Yeah, that's convenient. So we've arrived at Awenda Park and Kale is now buying a ticket so that we can park here and then we're going to take Gibson for his hike.
So we walked the four kilometer Wendat Trail and Gibson did so good. Didn't he do amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. really good hiking dog. We uh, yeah had him off leash at times. He did really good off leash. When he was off leash, he would just follow us. And if we got a little bit ahead of him, he would just sprint to come join us right back again. Yep. So yep. that was such a huge success. And it was such a beautiful day for a fall hike. The colors were gorgeous. The sun was shining. It was a little hot, <laughs> as you Warm. can see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think we're going to close up the vlog here. Thank you so much to everyone who is watching us and for celebrating with us 50,000 subscribers over in the Jerica Zimmerman channel. And I know that there's only a few of you here on the Zimmerman Life channel, but you guys are still supporting us and we love to make content for you guys too. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.